Hey, this is Aaron with Bushcraft Devotions, and I'm going to bring you a buck knife review. Which one today? Well, it's going to be the middle one. This is the Buck 119 Special. It's a classic knife. Everybody knows this knife. If you don't have the knife, barrel, your dad had it or your grandpa had it, there's a lot of people that have this knife. It is a classic knife that has been proving itself over many, many years. So let's just look at the knife itself. Let me take it out of the sheath here. All right. So it is a nice knife. Overall length of the knife is 10 and a half inches. The weight is 7.5 ounces. The blade length is six inches. The blade thickness is 0.175 of an inch. Some other things about the knife itself. It is a hollow grind, has a satin finish, and of course it does have the clip point. So this is your clip point. It has a, a false edge up there. Clip points are very good when you're talking about getting to small places when you're skinning and processing game. Now when it comes to bushcrafting, yes, you can use this of course for feather sticks, you can use this to notch, uh, for tent pegs, things like that. Uh, you can use this to whack on some limbs and some branches. The biggest thing is to be careful of when you're batani. Now, personally, I take a, a small axe uh, with me when I go to chop wood. It's kind of nice to have a knife that you could baton with. And this, this can baton. You'll see a lot of videos out there on that. The biggest thing you got to be careful of is, of course, the clip point. A clip point is going to be a, a little bit more fragile than the rest of the blade. So you got to be careful. If you're whacking that edge with another thick piece of stick to, to baton it through some wood. So just be cautious about that. I uh, haven't seen a lot of people break them. But these knives are actually not meant to be axes. They are meant to be knives. So if you don't have a bigger knife that's meant for chopping and batoning, I would probably stick to an axe just to take care of your blade. Let this blade last you so long that you can pass it down to your loved ones. A very nice knife. This has been with me for a while. Now, this knife here, I'm going to show you a little bit about the dating. This is 2016. The handle is what they call phenolic. It has aluminum pommel and guard. And it does have a little bit of finger Kind of grooves so it helps you hold the knife better it is technically a full tang but it's not an exposed full tang it the blade actually and you can probably see it here a little bit no the blade actually is smaller here it goes down in width go into the handle so a lot of people will call that a uh, rat tail tanging and i'm gonna show you a uh, Two photos that shows the construction of the tang of this knife. All right. And also, you see this. Usually, Buck would have the model number. And it's going to have a little symbol. And with that symbol, it's going to show you the date. So, this symbol shows it was uh, 2016. So, all you have to do is go to the internet and type in Buck date chart, and you will see... The chart very easily all right this is a great knife to give to your children i just gifted this to mine the sheath it's a nice leather sheath and it is now the sheath the knife is made in the united states of america the sheath is made in mexico and a lot of people don't like that aspect but I'll tell you what they make some good leather products down there um it has a good chunk of leather you see it is stitched it does have a water hole, which is very important. And it has a nice belt loop. I think that it fits a large belt as well. It usually has buck knives and sometimes the anvil stamped on the front. Now this one doesn't, but it usually has the model number in the back as well. It's like this one would see 119. And it's very <coughs> secure. So when this wraps around, it's gonna go in there. And it does have a little plastic insert. And that's going to also protect your leather from being cut 
Believe it or not, it also helps from corrosion because we all know that leather gets moisture on it and it's being stored. It could cause some rust on that blade. Now, here's something I want to really bring your attention to as the 420 HC Steel with the Paul Boss heat treatment. Now, this is Buck standard blade material. It has the wear resistance and ease of sharpening as high carbon alloys while providing corrosion resistance of chromium stainless steels. Now, it does have also your famous forever warranty. And they, they stand by theirs pretty good. You know, they will repair or replace the knife. It's uh, found containing defects in the material workmanship. Now, the warranty covers replacement parts and labor. The warranty does not cover misuse, abuse, or products that have been modified in any way. So be careful with that. So if you're going to replace the handle with something else, be careful because you might be voiding the forever warranty on that. But most people who do that anyway, they take care of their knives like crazy. Now, a lot of people in the reviews never show the back of the card. I am going to. But I wanted to show that too because it makes Buck family who they are. So they talk about when you own uh, one of their knives, you're part of a very large family. But I'm going to redo this paragraph. It says, now that you are family, you might want to know a little bit more about us. Dad said it best when he said that fantastic growth of Buck Knives Incorporated was no accident. From the beginning, we determined to make God the senior partner. In a crisis, the problem was turned over to him, and he hasn't failed to help us with the answer. Each knife must reflect the integrity of management. If sometimes we fail in our end because we are human, we find it imperative to do our utmost to make it right. If any of you are troubled or perplexed or looking for answers, may we invite you to look to him, for God loves you. For God so loved the world so much that he gave his only son, so that anyone who believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life, John 3, 16. And that is what makes the Buck family the Buck family. So it's very important to know what makes them stand by the products and their workmanship and everything else. So that is a quick table review of the Buck 119 special. And I will let you know that is razor sharp. It will slice through paper. It will shave arm hair off really easy. And so because I'm doing this with one hand, I can't show you, <laughs> but it does. Hey, thank you for watching and God bless.